enjoy a sport, take one. I think what brings me the most joy when I play basketball is just being by myself, you know, in the gym and when all the outside noise is a lot, you can kind of find yourself in your own personal space and just kind of block out all that noise. My dream and my goal was to play a professional sport in general. My family, we played as many sports as we could growing up and I think that was my parents' philosophy was just find what you're good at, but you know, really mostly what you have the most fun at and you know, stick with it. For me personally, I just had the most fun with you know, basketball and baseball going into high school and then eventually just you know, stuck with basketball. So I'm the youngest of four. Yeah, we're a very close-knit family. Um, we did everything together, you know, still do when we have the time. My earliest memories of sports in general is just competing in the backyard. We had a basketball court in the back. I think that's what kind of, you know, drove my competitive spirit. As long as I'm with my family, my parents, my siblings, you know, we could really be doing anything and I'm just gonna, you know, be, be thankful that I'm with them. We have no NBA team in, in Kansas. The closest is either, you know, Dallas or Oklahoma City. So I think, yeah, the first really NBA event I went to was a preseason game in Oklahoma City. Um, they played the Raptors, funny enough. That was kind of my first way of seeing the NBA game and, you know, having that dream. It's kind of a cheesy answer, but I just looked upon my mom. My mom played basketball Iowa State and then pro in Japan for a little bit. You know, those early days, I remember playing against my sibling. She was out there really dominating us, really, because she, you know, she's more of a post player, so she never shot threes or anything. So, you know, I was too small and she would just give me the post and nonstop score. So I remember just learning from her um, different parts of the game. And then, you know, still today when we play little shooting games, you know, she's still great at it. So um, I always look up to her. The mindset I try to take with pressure is kind of the same way I took it into going into college. Um, me being from Kansas and going to a, you know, the University of Kansas, I knew there was going to be kind of pressure with that. but. The way I thought about it was kind of pressure just being the excitement, you know, that people were having and not let it kind of be a negative thing and just turn it into a positive thing. I feel like I have a small circle um, of friends and, and family, so I like it that way because it kind of keeps the focus away from, you know, negative stuff like that. And yeah, definitely the FaceTimes that I get from my brothers, you know, I don't even have to call them, they'll call me when I, when I have time, they'll call me right away. So it's good to hear from them and kind of see their perspective of the game. Coming out to Toronto, you know, I was blessed being in the only NBA market and Knowing that, you know, kind of the basketball side, it's kind of solely focused on us. So, you know, it's a huge blessing. And kind of just taking that and just keeping it positive, not letting it, you know, kind of get to your head and just playing for the people.